Hi, and welcome back to Classic Developer. I hope you're having an amazing time. Today, I want to talk to you about another thing that I have to do as a software developer, and it might be that other developers have to do that too. So um, from our company, we kind of have two, div two divisions where developers work. Actually, more divisions, but in this case, let's talk and focus on this too. So we have the development group and we have customer service. And development group is the, all the developers that work on enhancements, projects, and so on, right? But also we have the customer service group that also has a few developers assigned to them, and that uh, is to take care of certain things. And um, the developers that are assigned to customer service are assigned to help desk. So all the developers in the company where I work rotate and work in the help desk. So how does that work? So let's say in, in a year, we will have two to four developers going to the help desk for a month or two to work on anything that comes as an emergency or something customer facing that needs to be answered as soon as possible. And so the developers will be there for two months, probably one month or something like that. And then when they rotate out, they are done with their help desk uh, duties, they move back to what uh, they were working on or maybe another project. So they're going back to working on development, general Kanban projects or whatever else is needed to be worked on. So I am in help desk right now. I started my duty to be in a help desk. Um, starting, I'm assigned to be in a help desk from January to February. And usually what is a help desk duty? So as I mentioned briefly, it's something that is coming from customer service, um, from customer uh, facing, right? So it's, let's say um, we upgrade the customer to a newer build and something suddenly is not working, something's crashing or something like that, that immediately is getting picked up by a help desk developer and they solve it as soon as possible. And they solve it if it's an emergency, they will solve everything and they will actually patch on site the fix. Or if it's something that is not critical, then they will solve that problem, fix the code in the code, in the main code back here, integrate it in the version that it needs to be integrated, and then it will be pushed. Uh, there, the customer will get an upgrade to a newer version. So another thing that it might be that while you're on the help desk, you might have questions like uh, the customer is asking how to use this, or I'm expecting this, but that's not working. Or the, custom, the question can be from our account managers because our software is really big, really complex. It's like a 30 something years software. It's massive. And there's not one person who knows everything thing about the application. So um, a lot of times you have to look into the code and answer the questions that are there. And then there are requests for bug fixes. And if there are some bugs, they, if they are not bigger than one to two days to fix, then they are fixed in the help desk. If the bugs are larger than two days worth of time to fix it, then they are pushed to the general Kanban that will be addressed in the development department. So. And it might turn out that when a developer is done with his or her um, help desk duty, they might end up working on that when they're coming out if the priority on that bug is not that high. Yeah, other things that might end up being is requests. So a request might be something that, okay, the server migrated and now the server name changed from let's say A to B and it has to be updated in our config file so everything can continue to work. So you will have a request like that. Um, what else do we get? Um, so we get questions, enhancements, requests, bug fixes. Enhancements basically never ever are worked in the help desk. They are always addressed by the development group. Um, yeah, so basically it's that. So there's a joke um, <clears throat> and, uh, in our company that the developers who are going to the help desk, they're going to a spa retreat. The reason is that uh, it, you never know how the day will end up. It might be that it's super like low key, you work on answering different questions, working on certain bugs, fixes, requests, and so on. Or you can be like kind of drinking from fire hose every time like because you have so many upgrades that happened and there are so many issues happening, but not necessarily because there are a lot of bugs. It's maybe because the service was not started or because um, the upgrade dictionary didn't happen correctly or something like that. There are so different, many things, like small things that might make situations to be emergencies and you need to take care of all of them. And in those cases, you have to be able to prioritize on the fly. Obviously, we have a meeting there in the help desk every day, and we go through all the items that came in and we prioritize them. And then we go through the items that were worked on, if there are any questions and so on. So that's kind of in the kind of uh, summary what a help desk situation is. And what I'm trying, I want to do today, today I'll try to have this, um, how many meetings did I have during a day? So I'll, I'll keep track here how many bugs did I answer 
were resolved during the day? How many questions do I solve today? How many requests do I solve today? I'll keep track of that. How many emergencies? Hopefully no emergencies today. Hopefully everything will be quiet, but I know we have a life upgrade today, so we'll see. Now let's see how much coffee I drink. I usually don't drink coffee ever, so it's basically coffee or matcha or something like that. So I'll be tr keeping track of all of this during the day, and at the end of the day, I'll give you a tally of how many questions, bugs, enhancements, how many meetings, and so on happened during the day. Actually, probably should have one more <laughs> here that says how many times I freak out, but we'll see. Okay, um, back to you in a bit. Hopefully, uh, whatever you are, you're warm and safe because why I'm working from home? Well, it's still snowing, it's a lot of snow and schools, colleges and all that stuff, they are canceled um, because due to the snow, so I'm working from home today and I, did, I worked uh, from home yesterday. So we'll see what tomorrow has weather-wise, maybe I will be in the office. I'm having a stand up with my developer team. Everybody in the team goes over what they worked on, what they're planning to work on, and what are their challenges that they're facing. And it's pretty simple, pretty quick. It's a 15 minute stand up where we talk about everything that happened yesterday and what we're planning to work today. So here's an example a few snippets from the meeting. Once I'm done with the stand-up, I'm going and having my breakfast, which is always oatmeal. So hopefully you saw the face that I was making there. And then I'm back at my desk working. In this moment, I was doing a code review and having breakfast, which I can multitask in that case. And if we were to go back for a moment at the previous stand-up meeting that you saw, you probably picked up that uh, our developer team it's really collaborative, we help each other, we make sure that if we know something, we share that information and we help each other. And here you really see in this time lapse what is I'm really doing, right? In this case, I'm, I'm having a meeting with other developers and we go over next steps that we're planning to do for an upcoming project. And in this case, I'm actually after the call, I was helping the team for that project to get ahead, get started. I was sending them training materials and stuff. Once I was done with that, I got back to solving problems, working on a bug, sending something for code review and making sure that everything is ready. I also was checking in between the backlog to make sure that there were no emergencies, no new entries that needed to be taken care of right away. And at the same time, I think in this particular case, I was working on a request. So very quick, where are we? It's 11 o'clock and so far I had... Two meetings, I fixed one bug, I worked on two requests, and I answered no questions, no emergency so far. We actually have more live upgrades than I thought today, and so far so good. Uh, hopefully everything will continue fine. Um, instead of coffee, I'm having my mocha, as always. And code reviews today, so far I had done three code reviews and I sent my code review request as well. So that's the status so far. 
I had a quick break, I went for a run, and when I got back, it was time for our daily prioritization meeting, where everybody in the help desk get together and we look at our backlog and prioritize the items based on how critical they are, what is their severity, and other criteria that are too long to mention at this time. If I'm not actively engaged in the meeting, meaning that I'm answering something or I need to actually speak and explain something, I actually do other things such as integrating something to a previous build, firing a build, making sure that stuff are happening, I kind of taking advantage of time because firing the build, if, if everything is ready, you just fired and everything is starting going. So I checked in the code there. At this time, the meeting is over so I can get back to coding. Here we are at the end of the day, a day in the help desk. I promise that I will give you a status of how the day went, what did I work on, and here we go. So let's see, what did I do? I had one mocha so far. That's weird that I got the very first one here. Uh, we got only one emergency, which was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I spoke with the person, explained that what's going on, and that emergency took about 15 minutes to solve. No big deal. And that's good. Okay, next one. I actually added this later on because I realized that I should add it and I forgot about it. It's the code reviews. And I had to do three code reviews today. Not too bad. Okay, requests. I worked on three requests today and it's basically there were a few server migrations, few config files that need to be changed on site and make sure that the changes that we made on site, we brought it back uh, to our source control and that's what I did and basically there were three things that I needed to do three different requests so a normal day next one there was interestingly enough only one question and uh, it was not a complicated one good okay how many bugs I worked today only you know, on one bug I don't know if that's a good sign or not um, from all the work that I had to do, one bug, it's a good sign that the, the software that we're writing is pretty good shape and QA, our QA team, that means that they are doing a really good job at finding them in time. Last one. How many meetings did I have today? Today I had three meetings. Yep. I, I was trying to remember if I keep track of all of them. And yes, it was actually three meetings that I had today. So overall, it was a normal day, uh, with the exception that the emergency that I mentioned actually happened during the time when I was having my lunch. So I, I, it, even if I work and eat, have lunch, it's okay. But sometimes like, oh, I need to put my food uh, on the side and take care of this emergency. That's what I did. I actually like, ah, uh, somebody calls me. That means it's an emergency. And every time you you or me <laughs> freak out right away when you don't know what's going on. And that's what I, what I did. And once I heard what's, or what's the question or what's the emergency, what's the situation, I was like, that is an easy one. I can take care of that one. So yeah, that's kind of what it is. And one thing that I wanted to clarify, I don't think I uh, made um, really good explanation about the rotation in the help desk. So basically the developers who go to the help desk for a month or two, depending on what is the term, they work there for everything that comes into the help desk, basically requests, questions, and all that stuff. Enhancements, there might be small enhancements, which are rarely done in the help desk, but it's basically question bugs, requests, right? And taking care of any emergency, any situations that might come in. And once the developers are done with that, they are rotating back to working what the all their remaining developers are working on projects or general Kanban bugs and stuff like that. And another group of people are coming in, meaning another group of people and not other developers. And it might be two to four developers, depending on the size of the backlog in the help desk. And right now, if we are keeping it really good, really manageable, like we have uh, three items that are Right. If I, ch I checked today, actually, before I started recording this video, there were three ones that are ready to be picked up by developers and like 10 that are being in work. So it's pretty good. And usually if we have during the week 
the mo a moment where the backlog it's zero bugs, defects, or whatever, zero backlog items, then we have Taco Tuesdays. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesdays. So let's see if next week, next Tuesday, we might get some tacos. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it is like to have um, a day in the help desk. Hopefully you found this entertaining or interesting and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them uh, below. I will be happy to answer or clarify any things that you might be wondering about. And as always, I'm wishing you a happy engineering and have a great day. 